Hi, I'm Aroha, sales professional at Stockland Newport. Today, our lovely resident, Diane, is going to take us through her waterfront home. Let's go check it out. Hello, Aroha. How are you? Good. Thank Good. You so Welcome. Much for you're very, very welcome. Beautiful. Thank you so much. It We're pretty beautiful. excited about it. Yeah. It's pretty much exactly what we dreamed of. Yeah. Um, it's we been wanted... a long time coming, hasn't it? It has. It has. So this is our second build in Newport, yeah. um, but we really wanted to be on the lake. Um, it's amazing. I feel like I'm on holidays every day. Uh, I guess that we custom built this mm -hmm. to suit our family. I'm pretty excited to show you what we did on 400 square metres. So it's a five bed, three and a half bathroom, two car. Welcome. It's stunning. Let's so go check come it out. In. I yeah. can't wait. Fifth bedroom downstairs. We put an ensuite in the fifth bedroom. Mm -hmm. We've got our office here. We've got two entrances into the kitchen with heaps of cabinetry and the downstairs powder room. Um, we've got our. We're, wow. we're, we're a, it's a bit of a it's work amazing. in pro, a, a bit of a work in progress, but the cellar's coming along really, really nicely. I guess this here is the main thing that we wanted to do. So this is the grand room. So we've got kitchen, outdoor kitchen, al fresco, bit of a courtyard and dining and the main living. And I kind of wanted to feel like it was one big room. Yeah. And so we could open it all up and we could feel like we were inside outside. Yeah, it's almost an extension of your home. Really. That's right. It's utilizing the entire lot width. Yeah. Stunning, oh, yeah. outside particularly. Yeah. Well, we definitely like to have family over. So that was a really big thing. Yeah. We sort of wanted to have quite a few different living spaces, different living areas. Did you want me to show you through yeah. the kitchen? Well, we wanted a really big island. The kids have breakfast and I sit and have breakfast. Yeah. And we kind of use it as a bar mm. um, when we have people over. So that's nice to be able to sit around there. Lots of drawers and cupboards. I really like the idea of the open shelving as well. Double ovens. We went the induction cooktop as well. So very easy to clean. And we've got the sink here and the dishwasher here. And I just wanted all my stuff hidden away. So we've got the pantry here. And then through here, we've got more cabinets, heaps of storage through here. So much. And then we've got the laundry. We kept it really light and bright. Yeah, should we go have a look outside? Yeah, absolutely. The outdoor kitchen is really important to us. We do do a lot of cooking and a lot of barbecuing. Kind of wanted to be like kitchen and kitchen. Um, so that this was really great. I really love a high table. Yeah, this is different. I've been yeah. I really like a high table because it's sort of it's a bar and yeah. you can sort of sit up and you can dine out here but we've got a dining table out on the deck. We've got a dining table right there as well so the, sort of bit. yeah this this fit really well in the space. Yeah. And we've got our little bean bags out here. So you always get shade in here in the afternoon yeah. whereas if we had the alfresco on the front um, we might be trying to escape the sun. Yeah you've got so that protection. We, we've got that protection. That I'll take you into the pool area. So it kind of feels really private here, doesn't yeah, it? It's like quiet. That's what I love about Newport. Yeah. It doesn't Do matter. Do you use the lake? Oh, 100% we use the lake. Yeah. It's brilliant for the kids. We've got their kayaks out there, so they do go out on the kayaks as well. I Would have like been brilliant. Out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The tree and everything. It's yeah. So yeah, I love that pandanus. Absolutely beautiful. We've got like the fire pit ah. here. This is like the lower level fire pit area. There's so many different areas for entertaining. Because it's kind of we're down a little bit, yeah. it kind of is quite sheltered from the wind here. So you can have that sort of um, open fire pit yeah. and you don't you know, don't feel too closed in. But um, I love this because then one, if you don't want to sit here and you want to go out on the deck, you just come out here. This is my favourite part of like something. Yeah. This deck is yeah. an extension of your nose. So yeah. Probably push as yeah. far as you can go, isn't it? Yeah, I think that this is the biggest we could make it, and yeah. I'm glad we did. We will be having dinners, lunches out here. Yeah. I think at sunset, this is the best place to, to be at sunset. I'll take you on to the pontoon. When I'm out here, I feel like I'm right in the middle of Newport. You I, really yeah, are. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really do feel it. So this is 12 metres, this pontoon. And so next on the yeah. list is a boat then? Yeah. Definitely going to get a boat at yeah. some stage. I really like to be able to go out into the bay, go to Morton and that sort of stuff. So It'd be an amazing lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we decided to build, 
We really, really wanted to get um, the pontoon and deck put in straight away uh, because, yeah, we just wanted to integrate it with what we already had. With the design. With the design, yeah. 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 And believe me, we use it yeah. a lot. I bet. Well, you don't even have a boat yet with the kids and the kayaks and yeah. the paddleboarding. Even just the outlook, like it's stunning. We're finding a lot of people are buying on the lakefront just to be on the water. Yeah. Yes, your rear facade is so stunning. Yeah, I really, really love the facade. So I can't wait to show you upstairs. Yes. So this is the upper living space. I wanted to have an upper living that everyone could enjoy the views. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So when you think the view can't get any better and you can now see the Glass House Mountains. The kids tend to use it a fair bit. Before they go to bed, they'll come up here and watch a bit of TV. So this is sort of our upper um, living, upper media. Yeah. I just noticed the pendant behind you. I know. I love it. Absolutely love it. As I said to you, it's like I get up and it's like I'm on holidays every day. Yes, I'm yeah. not surprised. And because I work a lot and I don't really get to go away a lot, mm. then this is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I don't know how you get up though. I would just yeah. stay in here. Well, it's like we sit here. You sit down here if you want. So um, we sit here and it kind of feels like we're outside. Yeah. You know, we don't even have to go out on the balcony. You don't have to leave your room. No. Yeah, I'll show you the rest of the master. So I'm a bit of a bath wow. person. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I love baths. From every room in yeah. this house, I yeah, swear. Yeah, you can, and it's really nice and light as well. So we got the double vanity, we got the bath. Um, we did a quite a big shower, um, toilet with a door on it, and I love this part because I like not to see everything. Yeah. So we just got everything um, behind closed doors. As I said, like we've built before, so it was one of those things where some of the things that we thought, oh, you know, would be good to, to actually hide everything. Yeah. Um, so this is IKEA. So yeah. we just, because we're building, we, could, we me measured the space, what we needed, so it fit perfectly. We've gone to the ceiling mm. in, with tiles. We use the same tiles throughout. Um, so that, um, you know, all the bathrooms have got the same tiles. Mm, keep it consistent. Keep, keep it consistent, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. What advice would you give to somebody going through the build journey? Um, I think, uh, do you think about what is going to work for your family? Mm. Uh, do you think about, particularly if you're going to build on the lake, think about the outside first, how that's going to work for you as well and how that's going to integrate with the house. Yeah. Because I think, um, the lakeside living is all about the outside and it is all about the lake. So how it, um, you've got to think about the windows, you've got to think about how you're going to be able to integrate with the outside. Yeah. I think that's really important yeah. if you're going to build on the lake. Um, and the heights, um, just make sure you get the heights right. Um, Kurt did all that stuff. I didn't really have to think too much about <laughs> that. But we did talk about it at length yeah. and what we were going to do. But the design itself was really easy. Like that didn't take long at all yeah. um, to get the design right because we knew what we wanted. We just had to fit it in on 400 square metres. Yeah, well but, you've done an incredible job. It's yeah, so thanks. Beautiful. I mean, all the bedrooms, I don't know whether you want to go have a look at them or not, but they're all, nice. yeah, they're all big king size bedrooms. So this is one of the girls' rooms. Still generous, isn't it? Yeah, they're all big rooms, which is great. I love these wardrobes. It does give that farmhouse feel. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, with the panels, yeah. I mean, so we've got those on the doors as well. So what do your girls love about living in Newport? Yeah. Um, oh, they just, they really feel lucky to have, to be able to go into the water. Yeah. And um, yeah, they really love their home yeah. as well. And they've um, been in here for four years now, so yeah. I'd imagine Oh, so. absolutely. So they play with their friends, they come over, they go on the lake. Um, it's great. A lot of families our age live here, some younger families as well. The neighbours that are building at the moment, they're retirees. A yeah, mix, it's a bit yeah, of a mix. Yeah, definitely. This is one of our daughter's rooms, Grace. This is Paris's room, so she's... Very cute. Yeah. Yeah, she got the walk-in robe. And I'll show you their bathroom. So this was really important. So we've got the storage here. Mm -hmm. We wanted to have a lot of bench space for the kids so they could do their hair and makeup. Oh <laughs> Separate toilet and a, quite a big bathroom that they can close up. So there's a shower and toilet in there. So one can be in here getting ready and then yep. the other girls can be doing makeup yep. and hair and things getting that, ready. That's right, exactly, so exactly. Yeah. 
So tell me your favourite part about living at Newport. Well, apart from uh, being able to look out at the water, the gorgeous lake, um, probably I really love the town centre. It was a really big thing for me to be near a bit of a hub. And when we saw that that's what was going to be built, I said to Kurt, we have to be close to the town centre. And I really love the idea of the convenience, being able to walk down. It's been a long time coming. Believe me, <laughs> I've been very patient waiting for it. But we use it all the time. Like we just pop in there, pick up dinner or kids need something quick, we just pop down there. You know, where do you find something like this anywhere? like in Australia. I mean, it's very unique to Brisbane to be able to be on the water and, you know, be so close to the airport, be so close to the Brisbane CBD. It's a um, hidden oasis, really. Oh, it really is. It's like nothing else. Look forward to living here for many, many years, really, and enjoying it. And it's a very relaxing lifestyle. I feel very de-stressed when yeah. I'm near the water. I know, I feel like I'm on holidays right now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel very, very appreciative of a lifestyle that we have. I just think it's very special, Aww. yeah. Well, thank you so much for having us through. It is stunning. I've been waiting for it, watching it come to life. So I'm so happy to finally be here with you. Yeah, thanks, Aroha. Um,